Welcome back everybody to the colony, RimWorld Beta 18. A nice gentle snow is falling. A mist in the air as we go down. The whole map is just completely covered in snow. And we do have permadeath on, that's what that autosave was all about. There's no going back if something bad happens. We're completely screwed. So there's no more growing crops. We have plenty of food. Uh, crops went through pretty good okay. And we have, more importantly, we have a lot of meat. And uh, we actually have our first Velociraptor eggs that are incubating. So we're going to have two baby uh, Utah Raptors. Hopefully, if uh, all things go well and the power doesn't cut out. Oh, God, Randy Random, don't do it. Because it's outdoors. It is zero degrees inside 70 a nice 72 degrees so for the most part the colonists are sleeping comfortably through this winter storm first of the season barely into winter and we've already been hit with somewhat of a blizzard uh, I do have a uh, snow removal zone set up at least through the main walking areas just to kind of get them into position if we had to form some kind of a defense but I think our cleaning staff is overwhelmed and uh, can't really keep up with the demand of clearing all that snow so plus everybody's asleep right now anyway I wanted to point out to you guys the cooler is that not like brilliantly designed I want to say I got that off of watching Italics play uh, RimWorld, but it's very possible I saw it somewhere else. But either way, it's a brilliant design. Basically, I'm venting all the heat out. All the cold air is getting pumped in, and we have, like, no roof over this one little spot. So it's, like, almost like a chimney or a smokestack where all the exhaust is getting vented out. And it's just pumping out nice cold air. We have another heater up here just randomly. Which I haven't run power to yet. That's fine. There's no need. Uh, it's now dropped down to minus six. It's cold as balls outside, basically. It's still a nice 70 inside, so I think we're going to see these eggs uh, hatch. We're going to have two baby, baby raptors we're going to get to train and get to put in our raptor pen. We're going to start inbreeding them and just make a fucking army of inbred Utah Raptors and just go take people out man we're just gonna go in with like one guy and like 20 Raptors and just say release the animals <laughs> and see what happens because I don't know what else could Randy Random do I mean it's it's like a snowstorm and he, I gotta say he's been really gentle on me so far and I shouldn't be talking shit but he's been really nice. Like, he's given me uh, gifts. I've had, like, he sent me lobster a couple times. I said, still got him. Look. I still have eight lobsters left in the freezer over here. From when Randy Random was so generous to me. Won't always be that way. So, we got this uh, chopped down. We're extending this perimeter wall. We're going to get that finished up. So, this is going to be blocked off. I uh, need to get this plotted out. We got these two need to be done. This needs to come off. Well, I don't even have the stone. I have 25 limestone. That's going to be a lot. Yeah, because we're doing it. Limestone is the strongest material we have, so I want our perimeter, perimeter wall to be made out of the strongest materials possible. I think that makes the most sense do things that way so what everybody is eating some breakfast and Edmund Sir Edmund is going right back to work cutting those blocks up for us very good sir you continue on doing that Ailes is like a, we need to get her a better bedroom and this is the room I have planned for her, but it's a royal bed, so I need a little bit of gold. And then once I do, like, I can rip out all these trees. She's gonna have her own little private, like, section room, and 
It's like a mansion compared to everybody else. Like her own private, private room. You know what I mean? Fucking cool. And it is really uh, getting snowy out now. The snow is thick and it's taking the walk speed down quite a bit. See on the bottom left here, it shows you all the info on where the mouse is hovering over. So, walk speed is about half. We're moving through some pretty thick snow. You get over places where I got roof, because uh, I do have like roofing. That's another thing I guess I could do is expand the roof. Let's put it over like that. I guess I could block off this, this whole fucking thing. With it. And then, uh, clear snow. Yeah, because there's no longer gonna be, hopefully, any snow in there. Whoops. Still need you to go that far, though. Okay. Not that far. Right there. Okay, so he's building the roof. Oh, fire's on it. He's our newer construction guy. He's not very good, but he's getting some experience. Uh, our main person that builds all the goods, she is sleeping in today. What are you doing over there? She needs to get some food, too. I'm gonna wake you up early. Uh, time for sleeping in. I'm gonna eat a raw lobster. Why not? Thank you, Randy Random. For food poisoning, probably. Watch this happen. But why not? It's a raw lobster. I mean, just fuck it. Don't even gotta cook it. Just eat it. Suck the juices out. Yep, food. <laughs> Ate raw food. Did not like it. Okay. Next time we'll cook a lobster for you. It's all good. So where are you going now? You're going back down to this part of the wall. I want you instead to go up here. Start work on that. I'm moving all slow through this. Winter Wonderland. And this is butchering a mega scarab. Okay. We wanted some insect meat. I'm happy with the amount of crops we were able to get. Uh, there wasn't that many people doing crop work, and like, there was a shit ton of trees just covering this whole area. So, the fact we were able to rip it all down and get everything done the way we did, kind of really proud of my colonists right now. Because look, this is like a damn forest. We cleared out quite a bit. This was basically caused by a, uh, <laughs> a little bit of a lightning storm, but for the most part, we ripped it all out. We're just making food. We got some little refrigerators over here in the kitchen. Uh, the table is a good table. We got some chairs, masterwork chairs. It's still giving me an error, though, for some reason for the art design. I can't read the... I think it's something to do with the mods, maybe, but oh well. What is Bellboy doing up here? Yeah, they're they're not really designed for cold weather, so I gotta make sure all my Velociraptors are trying to kind of stay indoors, otherwise, like I already had one's tail get fucked up, I think it like its tail froze off. Yeah, his tail was lost to fr frostbite. That sucks. Sorry, though. Gotta stay indoors where it's warm. Look, you all getting cold and shit. Even this one here. I wonder what it's doing. No? It, it maybe has more of a weather tolerance, probably. Uh, where would you be at? Oh, yeah, it can go all the way up to minus 22. So our other raptors, they're nowhere near that, right? Yeah, they don't like anything below 50. So anything below 50 is, like, fucking cold. Yeah, so the purple ones are a lot more uh, versatile, I would think. Too bad we only got the one. She does have egg process going. Maybe we could like have some sort of hybrid. I do have the genetics mod, uh, so we're gonna be able to 
hopefully with our research program, start like splicing together different animals. We could make like a Dakota Raptor, Utah Raptor like hybrid with the purple one and the fucking yellow one and just like create a monster. Yeah. Mix it with like some wolf DNA. I think it'd be pretty cool. So that's some of the mods we got on. Uh, that's like long term shit though. I've barely started I've barely scratched the surface of research so far so we got a long way to go. I'm just basically still trying to fortify the colony. It's kind of just what we're doing. And uh, getting meals stacked up. I think I got all these bills set and everything is good. Probably. Wow, look at Daryl move. Does he still have those mechanites? He does. Uh oh. Okay, so definitely an ancient danger. And now we have elf beavers. Oh, our Oh, and I have the mating in the wild, so like the alpha beavers will actually breed. That isn't good. Let's just mark them all to be hunted. I'm not gonna go out of my way. Uh if they get some of the trees, they get them. There's plenty of trees. And I'm in no mood to get murdered by alpha beavers yet again. Like in the first time I tried to do a playthrough in this game. Because that was horribly embarrassing that I got murdered by Alpha Beavers, so... Never again, Alpha Beavers. I'm not gonna fuck with you. Oh, so it's kind of my weekend. I got a couple days off. I'm happy to be recording again. Been uh, working up a storm lately. Just kind of staying busy. But I can't get away from this game, and like when I play, like I love to record it because like a lot of crazy shit happens. So whoever's watching out there, I'm glad I'm able to share it with you because I'm sure in this playthrough, like it might seem boring now. We're just building the base, everything's getting squared away. Simplicity of it all, right? Oh, there's gonna be crazy stuff that happens. <laughs> Trust me. Wait till we get mortars. Wait till we start moving around the map. Setting up secondary bases. Oh, stuff's going to get very interesting. Should have them little dinosaur footprints behind where they're walking. That'd be really cool. This poor bush. It's got to be the saddest bush in the whole entire universe. Stuck in the middle of a bunch of heat vents. <laughs> Covered in snow. So it gets blasted by heat. And then just... Oh, wow. I guess the snow feels good. To be that bush. Alright, who's shooting? I want to say it's Lexo. Yeah. Sure enough. Oh, the Alpha Beaver. So I got him. Uh, let's pull you back up. I'm gonna actually go at the alpha beavers a little bit. Just a little bit. Like, fuck, I'm already up here, right? If we get into trouble, we're gonna have to run, so we're gonna have to try to injure as many as possible. Shit, Edmund's coming too? That's what's up. Get over here, Edmund. I'm gonna start taking specific fire shots. We're not just hunting randomly anymore. This is a massacre. Just push them to the edge of the map. We got this. It's gonna be some more free meat. They're not eating any of our trees. I think we could probably just let them bleed out. Can you eat your package of 
survival meal, that's fine, bone. After that, you're gonna go finish off that beaver. Shoot your buddy. Now they're coming for me. Now that I dropped that many of them. Alright, so... Alpha Beaver is attacking after being armed. Other Alpha Beavers nearby have also become enraged. We know this scenario very well. Um, so first of all, Bones, I think you need to shoot at this one. Because it is maddened. And I'm not talking John Madden, folks. It is pissed off. <laughs> it off. You got what? Shot or hit? Oh, you got scratched. Okay, you're fine. Uh, go finish that one off. And Edmund, you can go ahead and haul that one back. Alpha Beaver hunt successful. They're gone, folks. They're no longer an issue. Even Star came out to say hello, but we have not trained you in hauling yet, have we? We're getting there. We're working on it. Be nice just to see the dog haul back an alpha beaver too. Great. Meanwhile, back in the base, we still got stuff going on over here. Uh, just pretty much cooking and got a good little bit of food lined up. Nothing fancy, but we got plenty of uh, ingredients to make food with. If we so choose to cook it into overdrive, so to speak, and actually put a bunch of people on cooking task, we could pump out a bunch of food pretty quick if I wanted to have a stockpile. So, Daryl is still suffering from those mechanite things. Uh, where's Edmund? He is our best doctor. Leave that alpha beaver, somebody else will get it, it's fine. Lexo is not happy right now, he's been cut up, so we're just gonna let the alpha beaver go. We'll pick those two up later. We got him close to the base. Still bodies out there, but... End the package survival meal, that's okay. Shit happens. Alpha Beavers fought back, what can I say? So we got uh, a little bit of smoke leaf here. We're going to unforbid that. People can uh, partake in the marijuana if they want for a little while. Just get everybody's mood up a little bit. Hopefully nobody gets uh, turns into potheads, but you never know what can happen. Like Star is eating that insect meat, which is very good. I want to get rid of that, so I'm glad you're eating that instead of the actual meat we just brought back. Good dog. Alright. Seems like everything is going according to plan, and we're about to settle in for another night of rest. Uh, you still need to get healed, sir. What are you doing? What do you think you're fucking doing? Go back and rest in this bed. Crazy bastard. What were you doing? You're eating raw meat or some shit? Oh, don't worry. Somebody will feed you. Just go back and rest. 
Lexo, you crazy bitch. Now walk all this way through the snow. Just trudging it. On like a foot of snow. What a time you're being stupid. But you wake everybody up. Just gonna hand tend you, I'm not even worried about it. Some little cuts. Scratches even. If they get infected, then we'll put medicine on you, but as of right now I don't have shit to be wasting on you. Sorry. See how the eggs are progressing? They're up to almost ten percent. Probably like two or three days I think those will be hatched. Dude, little baby raptors are gonna look cute and we're gonna get to train them and they're gonna be easier to train than the adults. The adults are Riley. They get like a high training skill and it's like I barely have them trained at all. The one isn't even the male is like not even tamed. It won't even listen to obedience. So like <laughs> it just that's probably why I lost his fucking tail and won't listen to me when I tell it to get indoors. Fucking stupid dinosaur. But it is what it is. So far, I'm having fun with all the mods we got on, and uh, I think I can do a lot with this colony. So I hope you guys keep uh, checking it out and tuning in, and I'll try to put out some videos with this, man. I think we got our perimeter wall and like the basic planning of the base kind of lined up, so everybody knows what the plan is. Uh, I still don't know what to do with this western side of the base. I think I need to extend out more... Uh, Definitely more area for people to live, though. Like, better area. And you gotta remember, a lot of this is covered by snow. There's, like, swamp and stuff all over, so... it's a lot of places that, like, it might look like I can build, but I can't build at all. But, uh... That's it, man. Thank you guys for checking it out. Uh, it's been the end of the universe. If you haven't already, please hit that like button down below. It helps out ever so much. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace out.